Hello, good people of God. I trust you are all doing well. I want to use this opportunity to welcome you all to the message where daily we load Christian content for seasoned men of God. Hi, dear. We want to build a community and a family with you. So if you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then like this message for us because we want to build a family together. Do want to always comment in the comment section and share this message abroad. I want you to share on your WhatsApp status. I want you to share on YouTube for us, even on Instagram and all social media platforms. I'll see you again. Be blessed as you listen to this message. In other words, for you to pray, you must have authority. And know what authority you have. And you must know what is under your authority. I am a man under authority. I say to one, come, he comes. I say to one, go, he goes. You must know what is under your authority. Because you can only command things to happen that are under your authority. Jesus healed the sick because healing is under his authority. He sent his disciples to go and cast out devils and heal the sick because he gave them authority over devils and demons and sickness and disease. So you need to know what is under your authority. And I am news for you this morning. Healing is under your authority. Yeah, you can lay hands on the sick at any point and expect them to recover. You can rebuke demons and rebuke sickness and rebuke disease. Remember Acts chapter 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. Who went about doing good and healing all those that were oppressed. So listen carefully. Sickness is an oppression of the devil. Which means a child of God can be oppressed. I didn't say a child of God can be possessed. I said a child of God can be oppressed. A child of God can be depressed. A child of God can be suppressed. Oppressed, depressed, suppressed. But a child of God cannot be possessed. Because the spirit of God has possessed you. Two things don't possess you at one time. Holy Ghost has possessed you and he lives in you forever. So since Satan cannot have anything to do inside you, he can put pressure from outside. That pressure from outside is called oppression. It's called suppression. It's called depression. Sickness is an oppression of the devil. How Jesus went about doing good and healing all those that were oppressed. Because last Sunday I was saying, you cast out demons. You rebuke the devil to leave your body alone. And somebody asks, do we still have problems with devils? Yes, we have problems with devil because your devil is the adversary who goes about seeking whom he may devour. So neither you give place to the devil because the devil will look for how to attach himself to your body. He will look for how to attach himself to your mind with thoughts and reasonings and imaginations that will depress you. Imaginations that will make you afraid. Imaginations that will make you scared of God. So that he can take advantage of you. And that's what I'm teaching. The teaching ministry is to help you understand your authority. Understand who the devil is and what he does. And understand where you are seated in Christ Jesus. So the devil does not take advantage of you. I'm teaching good this morning. So sickness is an oppression of the devil. That's number one. Number two. Sickness can also come as a reason of bad diet. Bad lifestyle. It's not always the devil. Lifestyle can bring sickness. Bad diet can bring sickness. Bible says I will bless your bread and water first. Then I will take sickness away from the midst of you. So if your bread and water is not good, sickness will never leave you. So you don't blame everything on the devil. Food is important. And not just food, but balanced food. Proper food. That's why you went to school, you were taught dieting. And the right kind of foods to eat, the combination of, of foods to eat. And if you were not taught, you can ask questions. Ignorance is a major problem. It's a malady. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, not because Satan is powerful. So a lack of knowledge is an authority for Satan to use and afflict you. Ignorance is a kind of authority that enables Satan the opportunity to take advantage of you. So why do believers get sick? They get sick because they're still wearing mortality. And in mortality, if your diet is not good, it will affect your, your health. In mortality, if your thoughts, your thinking is not good, it can bring depression. 
It can even bring fear and it can bring infirmity and disease. And then of course, demons, demons can attach themselves to your body and to your mind if you are ignorant or if you give them room by lifestyle, by lifestyle, Ministry of Health warns that smoking cigarette is hazardous to your body. It has, it's a hazard to your health. So, even education has told you, don't smoke. So, when you start smoking, you have given the devil an invitation to attack your body. Because Satan knows that even the Ministry of Health has advised you, not the Bible, that smoking is a hazard to your health. So if you start smoking, don't expect God to stop Satan. Because your secret is an official legal invitation to Satan to attack your body. Excess alcohol is also destructive to your health. Excess alcohol, it affects your liver. So when you start drinking, and drinking like you are the pot of alcohol, know that also Satan is coming in. There is no scripture you know in your mind that will stop the devil from attacking you because you have opened the door and you have given the devil the legal authority to attack your body by alcohol. And there are other things. Lack of rest. Lack of rest. You overwork yourself till you are breaking down. Your mouth is dry. Your body is breaking out with all kinds of rashes to tell you that there's too much toxins in your body. You're not taking care of your body and you ignore it and then you pack up and die. We bury you quickly because that death is you committed suicide. In fact, all deaths, let me not say all, 90% deaths are suicidal. 90% deaths are suicidal. 90 because most deaths come from what you eat or what you didn't eat. You commit a suicide, you kill yourself. The devil doesn't kill anybody without his consent. For Satan to take you out, you must have your consent. He uses your authority to take you out. And your authority could come in form of deliberate authority or ignorance. See that? I'm teaching good here. Yeah. Yeah. It could come in any form. That's why it's good for you as a child of God to have constant health checks. See the doctor. Let them check you and tell you, okay, this and this is not working for you. That and that is not functioning well. And this is why it is not functioning well. You make adjustments. And sometimes they might give you some medications. Medication is not a sin. Medication is, 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 I call it body maintenance. You do body maintenance. Because when the doctors see that your diet is not good enough and you don't have what it takes to eat the kind of food you need to eat to replenish that diet that will fix that situation, they give you concentrated diet in a tablet to fix the situation. So when you swallow it, what you needed to fix it is concentrated in that piece of tablet. As you swallow it, it fixes it for you. That's why the pains go and then you're able to be in a better, better position to now eat the few things you can eat and things balance out. So medical science is not an enemy of the gospel. Medical science is actually a friend of God. Because whatever heals is God. I'm teaching good here. And many doctors are feeling good about themselves right now. <laughs> I will bless, bless your bread. I will bless your water. The number of your days I will fulfill. I will take sickness away. When your bread and water is blessed. I'm teaching good. You know, um, some people get divine healing. And there's nothing wrong with getting divinely healed. God's power heals you. Do you like what I'm teaching? I should move. Should I stay here or move on? <laughs> ben Hill found out Ben Hill was all told the story that after praying for people to be healed miracles happen when he goes back the same people are sick so he said to God there's no point why will we be healing them and the next day we are back there the same people on the altar call next day we are back there the same people God said to him he said God, he said God said to him and it makes sense to me that God said to him after you pray for them to be healed you don't teach them how to stay healed it's one thing to pray for you to be healed. It's another thing to teach you how to stay healed. It's not enough just to be healed. 
Because if you are healed and you do the same things that brought the sickness, it will come back. That's why when Jesus prayed for Peter's mother-in-law, he said, give her food to eat. He didn't say, now that I've prayed for her, she's okay. Give her food to eat too. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Because if she doesn't eat, the same thing will come back. I'm teaching good. So you don't just get healed and say, I am healed. Oh, pray, pray, pray. No, 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 no. You need to do quickly what you need to do to maintain that healing. You eat the right things. You do the right things. You maintain the lifestyle that you require to be sound in health. And let me also tell you something else. No medical doctor can tell you this. Nobody helps you to know how to remain healthy like yourself. Because nobody knows you like you. Only you know you. You know the things that work for you. You know the things that don't work for you. You know the things that when you eat, they upset your system. You know the things that you eat, they work for your system. So nobody knows you like you. So nobody can really doctor you like you. Except you are too ignorant to know. And your body gives you signals. You must be able to know when your body is giving you a signal to slow down, to rest, to sleep, even to eat. Your body gives you signals. You, you've got to study yourself and get used to yourself. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we're teaching prayer. So you know why sometimes you think God didn't heal you. No, he healed you, but he didn't maintain it. Because you've got to maintain it. Your body came from the earth. It came from the dust of the earth. So the things that will heal your body will come from the dust of the earth. That's why agriculture is from the ground. Agriculture is not from the sky. The herbs, the food comes from the ground. Because what will sustain this physical body will have to come from the ground where the body came from. And the more organic, the better. The more organic, the better. One more time. The more organic the better because the body came from organic soil so the more organic the more effective it is for the healing of your body that's why you hear doctors tell you fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables why are they telling you fruits and vegetables because fruits and vegetables come from the ground and vegetables are concentrated with a lot of medicinal stuff medicinal stuff is in vegetables You've got to pay me for this class. <laughs> you say I should stay here. You know if you'd keep me here, they move. <laughs> so you need to know what authority you have. And you need to know what is under the authority that you have. As a child of God. What authority do I have? I have authority over demons. So anything that is demon connected, I take authority. Anything that has to do with sickness, I take authority. Anything that has to do with, you know, circumstances and situations, I take authority. God told me to have dominion over the things that move on the earth, over the things that fly in the sky, and over every creeping thing that creepeth. All of that is under my authority. And I can say to one, go, and he goes. And I can say to one, come, and he comes. I am in authority here. And I control circumstances and situations. If you are the one I'm talking about, can I have a powerful amen? We hope you've been blessed by this message. And as you've been blessed, we want you to bless others by sharing this message abroad. If you're new here, can you don't leave without hitting on that subscribe button for us. Hit on that notification bell. Like and then comment in the comment section. We'll see you again on the next one. Stay tuned.